All right, so I just want to do a basic um, tutorial here about how you can embed multimedia content into a blog post. Um, this is my blog you're looking at right here, Alibi Pictures at alibipictures.com. Uh, and this is a simple WordPress site that I've been using for a couple of years now. Um, it's probably about time for me to update it um, and maybe get a new... Uh, interface for it, but uh, right now what I'm really concerned with is getting some new content up on the site. I actually deleted some content earlier today uh, in an attempt to sort of redesign uh, a little bit about how my site looks um, when you first bring it up, but my goal today is to embed two posts, one with some uh, audio content from a podcast and the other is some video content uh, that's being hosted on YouTube. Um, so here I am, I'm doing this all very simply, this screen recording here, um, simply with a uh, MacBook laptop, uh, which is kind of their bottom of the line uh, MacBook uh, uh, series of laptop computers. Uh, I'm using the QuickTime uh, software uh, to actually record this screen capture with the audio, and I'm using the, we can do when we think about creating multimedia content, um, that we can do with even the most basic of equipment. Um, everything I'm doing right now, I'm doing um, with just what's on the laptop. Um, I don't need to go out of my laptop in any way to make this happen. Um, and all the software I'm using is free uh, from QuickTime Player, which is available to you also on a PC for free, which the last two versions on. So that's one example of, of free software that's available to you that you can use whether you're on a Macintosh platform or on a PC platform. And there's a bunch of other stuff out there, um, which I've made some suggestions on the class website of uh, where you can go for podcasting tutorials. But this is actually not about podcasting so much as it's just simply getting multimedia uh, content embedded into a blog post. So back to where I started. We're looking at my blog uh, uh, homepage right now. And... Um, it's a simple WordPress site. Um, many of you are using WordPress, um, and some of you are using Blogger, um, and I think we have even a few other outliers out there in terms of hosting your your blog. But what I all I need to do is log into my site administration area, which I've already done. Um, but I click on site admin to log in, or you'll just have a simple login feature for your. Uh, for your blog and you'll see what's known as the dashboard and the dashboard is common um, to all uh, WordPress sites and it's also common to other uh, uh, content management system sites as well this is sort of the back end this is what people don't see when they go to your blog but this is where you can um, customize your content um, and but most importantly it's where you can author your blog posts so what I'm gonna go ahead is uh, at first I'm gonna go ahead and create a new post Okay, and what I'm going to be uh, doing is actually embedding content from a uh, podcast series that I co-host um, about yoga and the philosophy behind yoga uh, with my uh, co-host and producing partner Molly Landon Kenny, who runs a um, internationally known yoga studio, a community-based yoga studio in Seattle, Washington. Um, and uh, uh, she is sort of uh, uh, an up-and-coming, uh, actually fairly well-established uh, person in, um, in teaching um, the underlying practices and uh, philosophies behind yoga, as well as exploring opportunities to, um, to prove upon um, or to create other audiences uh, non-traditional audiences for people who are interested in yoga and practicing yoga. So she and I actually um, co-host a... Uh, uh, a regular podcast that comes out every two weeks, um, and we have one coming up, uh, actually coming out this Tuesday coming up, and I need to get some content up there because I neglected, um, as I often do, uh, to put uh, the last one up, which was just released on May 2nd, uh, onto my blog. Um, so that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be just embedding uh, a simple podcast that's being hosted by Podomatic, <coughs> the free uh, podcast hosting service, uh, which is available to you. Um, and then I'm going to embed that content into a blog post. So I've gone to Podomatic. I brought up our homepage for Transparent Yoga and Everyday Life, which is the home. Click on the uh, actual post here. Um, 
and it's going to start playing. Let me pause that. Um, and you'll see, though, that on the podcast itself, where it's being hosted, there's a button called Embed. Okay? And what that does is brings the embedding HTML code that I can use, copy and paste into my blog post, um, uh, and have the Podomatic player um, appear directly in my podcast, uh, um, or in my uh, in my blog post about this podcast. So I'm just going to highlight the embed code, the HTML, copy that, okay, go back over to my blog where I've begun, uh, okay. And then most uh, blog dashboards uh, for, for posting have a visual or HTML code, native code, um, ability to, uh, uh, to add your content in. Um, most of us will be happy and okay to use the visual for most of our posts when we're just writing. Um, and what we have here is what's called a WYSIWYG editor. WYSIWYG it just basically is an acronym for what you see is what you get. And what you have here in this WYSIWYG interface is just some quick formatting stuff. It's basically like a word processing. It's sort of a mini word processing interface um, where you can um, customize your formatting uh, for your blog post. Um, most of you have already seen this, probably have it available, and it's what you used when you made your first set of posts on your blogs. You will also have the opportunity though to edit directly the native code or HTML uh, that um, uh, that you have available to you if you want to natively code your your posts. I generally don't at this point. I spent years actually coding um, uh, in the uh, late 90s and, and, and early 2000s um, and I just don't like coding anymore. It's just it's not something I do. It's not something I'm particularly interested in. It's not something as a multimedia author that I was ever all that interested in to begin with, um, but in the early days of the internet, it was pretty damn lucrative if you could do some HTML um, and style sheet coding, ultimately. ultimately. But I, I decided to always just primarily focus on video uh, and photography for my business. So, um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, so I just don't like to code anymore. Uh, but that said, I'm glad I know the basics of HTML um, so that I can modify code when I need to or write it when I need to. Um, so, and this is just a basic HTML editor, and I'm just going to paste my code directly into the, that I copied from the Podomatic website into uh, the editing field here. So, post, paste, and then there is all of the, uh, of the podcast um, directly into a blog post, and I can switch over to visual at this point. And I can go ahead and write a little bit of a description on that. I'm going to do it right here, and I'm just going to go ahead and say, um, latest in our continuing series of podcasts about yoga and everyday life. Okay, and then I'm going to save a draft here, just so I don't lose it, just in case my computer crashes or my internet goes out or something. And then I can also preview the post, and I'm going to do that really quickly just before I publish it, just so I have an idea of what this looks like. All right, great, there it is. It's pretty much ready to go. All right, and then all I have to do now is publish it. Oh, wait, actually, I'm going to do something else. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a category uh, for this post, and I'm going to add some tags, okay? And I already have a podcast and a transparent uh, yoga and everyday life category set up for my blog, which you can see now are annotated like a directory on uh, on the side of my blog, okay? But I'm also going to... That means that's data embedded within your HTML site that search engines can use to find you based on subject matter matter uh, that people might be interested in. The short name for this is called Search Engine Optimization, or SEO. <coughs> and you also you often find people talking about SEO. And basically, that means Search Engine Optimization. And that means uh, the ability to create metadata in the background of your web pages uh, so that when people are searching for material that you're writing about, that you're creating content for, 
that your website and your posts uh, will rise to the top, so to speak, that they may be some of the first ones coming up. So I'm going to choose my tags here um, in the hopes that it increases my SEO or search engine optimization about this, uh, about this post. And so first of all, I'm actually going to put my name. And there it is, Daniel Thornton. I'm going to put my co-host name because she is internationally famous. And her name is, there it comes up, Molly Lannon Kenny. Okay. Um, I'm going to put yoga. I'm going to do yoga radio or yoga podcast first, and then I'll do yoga radio. It's all ready to go. Yoga radio. And I'm going to go ahead and add those. Okay. And those are my categories and my tags. Okay. And you'll want to consider also customizing tags for your post as well. All right. And then I'm just going to go ahead and hit publish. I'm going to take a second. And then I can just go ahead and click on my home page directly from the dashboard. And there it is. Oh, you know, but I didn't title that. I ignored that. So I'm just going to go ahead and edit this post and put a title in because that's important. And I am going to add Yoga and everyday life. All right, I'm gonna just click update. 